Ok, solo lo único que tiene que hacer es agarrarnos a los dos. Esto. Ok. Pero ya está agarrando. O... Ok, te dime cuándo. Pero no lo... Ya está grabando. Ya está grabando. Si ves la cosita roja, está grabando. Ok, ya, ya está. Ok. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2006 we did an interview when she had just come from Cuba and she couldn't speak English that well, right? So now we, we're going to do it, but I want to start from the beginning. I want her to tell me a story of how she traveled from Cuba to here. Was it under political pressure? How was it? My dad won a visa lottery, so that's why we came to America. And my dream was always to not to get out from because of the perspective of the politics, but it was more for the economics, to, to help my family in the economic aspect and to be able to travel. So and thanks God I'm doing what I like, which is dance. I travel all over around the world, sometimes too tiring. But God tell me you wanna travel, then get <laughs> you, you wanna travel every week. You're becoming a traveler now, right? Yes, right. yes. Right. I can help my family and I'm not rich. I have just a decent salary. And but with that in Cuba we can do a lot of magic. So I'm helping a lot of people and thanks to God and thanks to the people who support my career. Good. Well, you heard that. The more you support her career, you're helping her help people that need a lot of help in Cuba. Okay? She's not just here taking all the glory of her talent, taking all the glory of everybody falling in love with her. She's doing something else in Cuba. She's helping people that could even might. They, they are not starving, but they are half starving, right? <laughs> because the, the food is very rare and it's hard to find, right? Okay, that, okay, now, the next thing is, the, the one thing that has stuck in my head, when you, and you haven't done this in English, is when you were watching people dancing and two, you, you talked to me in Spanish in that interview, and you said, you know, man, when the bass is playing, or when the drums are playing, that's when they should be dancing and two. When the whole band is playing, they could dance on one or two. They don't have to dance and two all the time. That's correct. It, it, that's correct? Yeah. Okay. My class today here in San Francisco, uh -huh. it was more about that. How to have more the intention, more than focus in the, in the, the, the timing. Because a lot of people thinking dancing on one is sharp, dancing on two is more flavor, but I demonstrated in the class today that if you dance on one or dance on two, you can still have flavor and you can still have a lot of enjoyment. And also dancing on two, sometimes you can be also elegant and sharp at the same time. It's depending on the feeling of the music. All right, okay, that was the big question that I wanted to clear up because you know a lot of people don't know that, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna love you. Yeah, um, so um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll, I'll try and meet with her one more time if I can, so we can do a little bit of dancing, but under the circumstances, I don't want to mess with the owners of the place or anything like that. So we'll dance a little bit of an interview for dancing before we leave if we can, okay? Tomorrow. If not, I'm, I'm coming to Miami for, so the, for the World Championship. Right? Great. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, ahí está todo. Yep.